Our mothers who take the COVID-19 jab during pregnancy can provide better immunity against the disease for their unborn child. A KKH study finds that immunity can last up to six months for the newborn. And that discovery is important because currently there is no COVID-19 vaccine for newborns. That's right. Now, for more, we have lead author of the study, Associate Professor Yung Chi Fu, who is Senior Consultant of Infectious Disease at KK Hospital. He also holds a position at Duke NUS Medical School at the Lee Kong Chen School of Medicine at NTU. Professor Yong, welcome. It's good to see you. Thank you for having me. Good evening. Prof, how did this study actually come to the conclusion that a vaccinated mother uh, can provide immunity for her unborn, unborn child through vaccination? Thank you, Don. We performed the study comparing the risk of our infants or newborn babies getting COVID-19 in two groups. Uh, the first group were mothers who received the COVID-19 vaccine during pregnancy. And the second group were mothers who didn't receive the COVID-19 during pregnancy. Uh, we found that um, COVID there were babies born to mothers who, uh, who received the COVID-19 vaccine were protected and less likely to get COVID-19 during the first six months post-delivery. Mm, that's uh, very interesting. Um, I, I was curious to know um, how this six-month period came about. That uh, is it significant that the immunity of uh, a newborn lasts six months? Could it be longer? Could it mm. be shorter? Thank you, Jill. Um, there is a unique bond between mm. mother and baby during pregnancy. Um, what happens? This is unique bond is also observed uh, in infectious disease and vaccines. Uh, the mother is able to pass on uh, protective antibodies to the baby during pregnancy. And uh, when the baby is born, these protective antibodies protect the babies against uh, various infectious disease. And maternal vaccination leverages this unique phenomenon. Um, and unfortunately, uh, the antibodies that is passed on do not last forever. And uh, they wane over time. And usually around the six months time is when most of these antibodies will disappear or they go to a level which is no longer protective for the baby. Mm. Prof, does it matter when the mother has this vaccination sort of before becoming pregnant or during pregnancy? I mean, is there a, a specific time that's better than, than another time? Mm. Maternal vaccination has three main uh, objectives. The first is to protect the mother. Pregnant mothers are at higher risk of severe disease against, uh, from COVID. Mm. The second is also to protect the pregnancy itself. Um, you know, COVID-19 is known to increase the risk of bad outcomes from pregnancies. And the third, last but not least, is to protect the newborn baby. So the timing itself, we, we try to gauge the right time. The earliest you can get vaccinated during your pregnancy, the better. Then you're protected, your, baby is prote your, your pregnancy is protected, but I think the crucial point here is uh, to keep yourself up to date with the latest COVID-19 vaccination mm. and ensure that you get yourself vaccinated as soon as you know you're pregnant. Talk to your obstetrician. Right. So, so just, just to confirm here, it's important that the vaccination is administered as fast or as soon as you know you're pregnant. Uh, before pregnancy doesn't count? Unfortunately, what we found in our study is that getting the vaccine before pregnancy, you can't count on that right. anymore. You need to get yourself up to date and vaccinated during the pregnancy itself to ensure protection uh, for the newborn baby. What about data from overseas, Prof. Jung? What have we seen in terms of their experience with vaccination for pregnant mothers? Yeah. The effectiveness of maternal vaccination in COVID-19 is um, also being demonstrated and clearly found in many studies globally. I think the unique feature of what we found was that we were able to compare mothers who were vaccinated during pregnancy versus those who were vaccinated before. And I think uh, what we found was that it's crucial that you get yourself vaccinated during pregnancy and you can no longer depend on the vaccines you received uh, before you were pregnant. Mm, uh, you know, th this is a question that, that many of us have. Uh, uh, is there any other way aside from the, the COVID vaccination for mothers, uh, mothers-to-be to provide that protection for their baby any way to avoid a jab, I suppose, is the question. I, I think um, there is little you can do. COVID is endemic now. The pandemic is over, but it's clearly circulating in different forms and different variants in our population. So it's extremely difficult to avoid getting COVID. Um, I think so. Ultimately, of course, we do encourage you know good uh, personal hygiene, hand hygiene. You know, um, avoid going to places where uh, when you're unwell. Um, but I think the key 
most important thing that any pregnant mother can do to protect the, their newborn infant is to get themselves uh, vaccinated uh, during their pregnancy. Prof, are we still seeing that sort of enthusiasm to, for mothers to get vaccinated though? I mean, now that we've reached this sort of post-pandemic period, uh, is it waning at all? Do you see reluctance? Mm. I mean, the fact is that it is a challenge uh, to continue to get, get everybody uh, up to date with their latest COVID-19 vaccination. And I think that's why studies such as these uh, are crucially important because then uh, pregnant women are given the right information for them to make an informed decision mm. as to whether they get themselves vaccinated. And the study data clearly shows that getting yourself vaccinated during your pregnancy will protect your newborn infant versus not getting yourself vaccinated. Mm. I guess one of the ways to encourage them is to, as you said, educate them. And one of the mo questions we often get is uh, the side effects of this vaccination, particularly during pregnancy. Do they differ from, from others, other mm. people? There were, I mean, the vaccine has been used by millions of pregnant mm. women globally. Uh, the side effects reported are no different from non-pregnant individuals. And there has been no clear link or reported link of any adverse events for the pregnancy itself from COVID-19 vaccination. As a matter of fact, the risk of poor outcomes from the pregnancy and for the mom is much higher uh, mm -hmm. between those who get COVID and are unvaccinated versus those who get themselves vaccinated. All right, Professor Jung, thank you so much for coming into the studio thank and you. talking to us about this very important topic. Associate Professor Jung Chi Fu there.